Hey guys, Sergoon here with another video from uh, HTC MyTouch 3G, Magic here in Europe. Um, in this video I'll show you how to get the Sense keyboard on your Android device if you don't have it already. So this video is for the people that own a G1, HTC Magic, MyTouch 3G or a Nexus One and don't have already the new Sense keyboard. So I guess this keyboard you all know, this is a standard Google keyboard, it's okay, but it's not one of the best. But I, I read in uh, many reviews and heard from many people that the Sense keyboard on the, which comes in the Google Android devices um, branded by HTC, is much better. And so I want to get this now, instead of this. So what I basically do, I show you the process how to get it on your phone, install it. It's very easy. Your phone does not have to be rooted. Mine isn't even rooted. You can get it very easily on your um, Android device. So first. Um, you need to go to this uh, web page right here, pause the video here to uh, copy it. This is the web page. Then you should get this overview. And there you see in the first post, you can get a lower uh, resolution version of the keyboard for all the um, G1 HTC Magic owners and the high resolution version for the Nexus One owners. There is also a guide how to install it. It's pretty easy, but I will show it to you anyway. First, I want to say that this is a hacked version. It's a hacked key. It's not official. So it can be dangerous. It can be that um, all the keys you write on your phone are memorized and sent to the developer of this phone so he, he knows your passwords. So I just want to warn you, it's not 100% safe. But I'm going to try it right now. So since I have a magic, I press the low resolution here. This brings me to a downloader. Click here to start download. Okay. <laughs> Save data. Now it's downloading the file. While it's downloading, you can mount your phone to the PC. Mount it. Okay. Back to the PC. It's still loading here. Now my SD card is opening on the PC right there automatically. So this is the content of my SD card. Now the download finished. I press on it. And you need to get these two APKs you see right here and drag them just to your SD card. Just drag them over anywhere you want. Okay, they're copying. Okay, now they're on the SD card. Now you can demount your phone. Okay. Now um, you need to have an, an app manager, an APK installer or something like this. I use um, the Astro here. You can get it for free from the Android market. Just press on it. Uh, before this, you have to uh, go to the settings menu and allow to install um, contents from your SD card. I don't know where this is exactly. Safety. Um, I guess in applications here. Here, um, to allow from unknown sources, you have to enable this with, with a click. No, wrong press here. Hello. Yeah, well, the magic is kind of slow sometimes. Okay, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to enable this right here, this box. Okay, press OK. Now go back. Go to your file manager, app manager, AP cancel, whatever. Here, Astro. Go to the files you just dragged on your SD card, this is Clicker, and another file, HTC IME, there you see it. Install both, open App Manager, press, press install on each of these, I installed it already, so that's why it says uninstall here, 
where's the other quick the same process press install okay now you go back go again to the settings menu go to um, text input here and enable touch input enable this so now you go to a text field I just press search long press on the search bar press uh, this one here and switch to touch input let the keyword vanish again go again for the search now it needs some time to first upload take some time here to load oh there it was um, there now it works so you, you got the sense keyboard just exactly as on the sense Android devices you can of course uh, I don't know search bar it doesn't go landscape let's go to SMS here yeah new SMS so there you got it sense keyboard on an unrooted um, Android device um, in the first, I've used it for one day now, and I have to say it looks pretty much nicer to me. It's uh, that's subjective, but it also works very nice. I have to, well, it's my opinion, subjective impression that it is a bit faster, reacts better to my touch input, especially on a magic. I have often the problem that if I write very fast, especially in landscape, the text doesn't follow me that fast. So this works kind of good with this. You can also go to the settings. You can set different uh, languages. Go to say got, say got the same stuff as the basic Android test sound uh, vibration with each key, a correction, autocomplete, and all this stuff. So this is a Sense Keyboard again. Um, it's on your own risk if you use this, but it looks pretty nice and it got all the options the Sense got, so which is really really nice, and. Check it out for your Nexus One, for your G1, or for your MyTouch, or for every Android device which only comes with the basic keyboard. No root necessary, everything is free, the whole process takes 3-4 to four minutes. Check it out, thanks for watching.